the morning after, the man who would be queen. Yeah. That night I kept playing fine, it's true freedom. Feels so right. Ah, Sexual self-union. Bisexual reunion with his twin brother. Yeah. Well, uh, King Sharif, oh, he's, he's, he's going to celebrate. He's found his queen. So he goes out onto the uh, royal balcony where they proclaim all important uh, uh, proclamations. And uh, he, he fires off the two uh, antique Krupp cannons to summon his people, his, his peasantry, to below the balcony, below the, the royal balcony. Because he's got something un unannounced, yeah, historic. Well, one antique, uh, well, these cannonballs are so old, they're not even round anymore. <sighs> one malform lopsided uh, cannonball, yeah, that crashes right through the uh, roof of Niram Shah's place. Yeah, that uh, chicken coop, mm -mm. And the other one, whoops, uh, <clears throat> sidewinder, huh? Uh, a projectile plows through the wooden shed that used to house uh, Mirid Khan's uh, grinding stone in there to grind corn. Well, okay. Uh, and look, this doesn't happen often. The last time these guns were fired, 1922. Yeah, but this is such a morning of joy. The dawn. Phew. When King Sharif announces, oh, to the throng Mastujis, yeah, below his balcony, that he has found his dead twin brother. <sighs> Latif. And that she, she, is now your queen. Well, uh, when's one audacious villager? I mean, to Abdul Sarfez, huh? <clears throat> He's been a problem in the village since birth. Uh, he shouts out to the king. Well, what in the hell is in it for us? Ooh. Uh, yeah, the, these hard scrabble peasants, they're, they're more than eager to nod to any uh, notion of the king. Fanciful? Supernatural, whatever. As long as they get some fun spin off for themselves, huh? Well, at which moment Kipling, oh, she's saving her a debut as a queen. Yeah, uh, she, she kind of gently guys like a queen onto the balcony and she looks down and she just announces look i well king sharif is translating into yarkuni and kawari i <laughs> i <laughs> am obviously from another world way beyond kabul Istanbul? Yeah, uh, I'm from a distant hippie biosphere. And Sharfez, huh? What the hell is a biosphere? Uh, and more freaks like me uh, will be coming to Mastuj in the uh, Yarkon Valley. Why? Well, uh, to buy your world-famous assassin hashish, your whole harvest, your whole crops. It's the best in the world, that's why. And, you know, I will hire every man, woman, child, mule, transgender, what the hell is transgender? They, they rope up him. They tie his hands behind his back at this point. Sir Feza. And I get us all. 
Um, yeah, I mean, all the way up to Lashed, all past, past Bong Lassie. Yeah, that's a famous village. I'll talk about some fruit shakes in the Bong Lassie, huh? All the way over the Borgo Pass into the, into the Wikiweed tribe of the Palmiers. Because I, <laughs> Queen Latif, oh yeah, I speak the languages of the hippies, yeah, from the many nations, yeah, with a British accent. Oh, um, and I will reward your assassin hashish harvest with, uh, well, uh, Bridges. We're talking about uh, permanent bridges that don't wash out every monsoon, like those uh, Nepali with those rings, uh, rope string bridges, huh? We're talking, no, the real deal here. Medical clinics? Well, you need them. So many blind people here, huh? About 10% of, it, of people are blind with a mountain blindness. Mm, rampant around here. Yeah, you'll need these medical clinics. Uh, and uh, But, you know, we're talking trendy mountaineering gear. Yeah, you know those Sherpas? Edmund Hillary, Everest? Yeah, climb climb Mount Everest, be a guide. You get the North Face down jackets, huh? Once they fly out of the Himalayas and their leftover oxygen tanks, even the tanks are worth a lot of money to the hill tribes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wrap around aviator sunglasses. What's an aviator? They bind. They 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 bind in gags. Our fez at this point. And uh, yeah, they put him on the ground, face down, and uh, an overweight teenager just sits on his back. Uh, they've had enough of him. Well, the cheers. Oh, the cheers. Oh, oh, it, they just well up. Oh, up to the balcony. Whoa. And the blind people, they're shaking those walking sticks in the air. Yeah. Well, King Sharif, huh? He realized he got a drama queen on his hand, so he he uh, he straddles one of those uh, Krupp cannons. Oh, it looks so sexy between his legs. <laughs> Oh, he takes over the show from here. Okay, well, look, remember our unique history, peasants. When my great-grandfather, Elman Umuk, ruled our mountains. Oh, yeah. 1856 to 1892. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he looks at his screen. Oh, she, she's so white. Of that white London, oh, <laughs> creamy white skin. Oh, did he ever score? Oh.